again. We have our first semi-final of today, Focus versus Colorful and Shall We Cup 16. Let's go. Oh, that's the wrong one. That one. Okay. Colorful starting off. Ancient of War creep. He lost the Ancient of War? What the hell? A player's forces are under attack. The Blade Master wasn't even there. Oh, was he? Wait. Sorry, I missed it. Alright, guys. What happened? Did the Blade Master kill it? No. Blade Master got the ogre dude right here. Blade Master wasn't there. Wow. Alright, you know, we all have bad days sometimes. Um, and things go wrong. I know that feeling from ladder. Some just nothing works out. It's kind of embarrassing. But this is a pro player. This guy gets paid for playing. It's not that hard of a creep camp. All right, let's not dwell on this. Um, poor colorful. Oh man, the Chinese are gonna be so mean about this. I don't want to be too mean about that. You know, everyone makes mistakes, but yeah, that's a, that's a pretty bad one. That's attack. a pretty bad mistake. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, only now going into Huntresses. Tier two coming. Couple of archers into hunts, into expansion, into tech. That is usually what we see from night elves still on this patch. So kind of blown away by that earlier. Take master continuing to creep up. Gotta get almost level two right here. Where is the expansion though? You really do have to play expansion with this. Oh, can you creep this? One archer, one huntress, two treants. He's definitely gonna need more treants. Um, I don't know, is, that, is this working out? Yeah, he's got no treants now. Alrighty. It's uh, also looking a little sketchy though. But I guess it's working out. It takes him a while. Blade Master is looking for the expansion. He's like, "You're Night Elf. You have to expand. Well, where's your expand?" Are under attack. Not coming yet, but there's actually an opening into the main. I wonder if now perhaps Colorful is considering trying to block him in. Doesn't seem like that's the case. So Keeper actually gets to level three fairly quickly here. Normally that is hard to pull off on this here map concealed. So Blade gonna get stuck. Nice detonate. Pretty fast with that one. It seemed like he had all the lumber wisps on hotkeys. And then he used hotkey, right click, and then these mo wisps started moving as well. Uh, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's looking a little questionable. So far from colorful. Here comes the shadow. Beginning to creep with the grunts. Telestaff to keep on being annoying. Oh, Beastmaster, uh, Alchemist, excuse me. A player's Did you see that uh, <laughs> that YouTube video where someone made a remix of Neo's final call in the final game, Happy vs. Moon? The Keeper! <laughs> Thought that was so good. But also in that video, kind of as the encore, he says, Beastmaster. That's actually my favorite part now. Beastmaster. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I actually don't know what it's called. But uh, you can find it on our Twitter somewhere. <laughs> the keeper. Can someone link that right now, please? That would be amazing. I don't exactly have time I'm trying to cast this game. Oh, look at this expansion! Here it is. Finally. A town is under siege. Damn! So fast with observing. Kind of amazing. Shadowner though is stuck in the main. Oh, and we're going walkers actually. That surprises me. He's obviously the keeper and the hunts. Not going shaman. Walkers can be very powerful once you have two with the spell. 
But that takes a while. That takes quite a while. And lures, by the way. Oh, here we go! Finally something going colorful's way. He's gonna get the raider! So, yeah, Focus is playing very old school here. Raider Walker. Which seemed utterly useless against Huntresses in the old patch. Where we saw the rise of upgraded grunts and Shaman! Don't know why he's not doing it here, to be honest. Oh, Blake Masters is strong enough. I want my two agility! Ah. I'm trying to get it. Good sentry ward, by the way. It's a gonna spot the orc movement attack. easily. And a peon over here also for spotting. So That's pretty cool. Under siege. Late master still being annoying. But the natural crept up for colorful level 2 alchemist. We have the ring, plus 4. Kind of amazing, right? This ring plus 4. Used to drop from the strongest camp we have in the game. Twisted Meadows. Ridiculous. Zeppelin time. Right? Oh, staff in from the blade. Does he want to fight this? Hex. Hex Raider Walker. Wow, this is some old school stuff right here. One raider so far has fallen. Traded now for a huntress, I suppose. And focus feeling confident. Not level 3 just yet on either hero, but still. Ah, thank you for linking that video. I know it's a little clowny and memey, but I thought it was funny. Shout out to whoever made it. Pretty formidable orc army now, 50 supply, Raider Grunts Walker, Kodo Beast, the standard orc army against uh, most other armies. Not against Undead, but kind of everything else. I think it was 2-3 days ago on Twitter where I also uh, said that I think Orb of Lightning Purge should not work on heroes. And boy... Did people not like that statement? The general consensus was, how can you think of nerfing Orc? Look at WGL! Orc so weak! Alright. Is Orc so weak because Purge, which is only a factor against Undead, is, is that why the Orcs uh, didn't get far? Because all of the Undeads? Stopping them in their tracks? Well, essentially it was happy, it's true, but it was not because of Orb Purge. Orb Purge is just really stupid RNG in my opinion. A Purge is really unlikely in the first place. It's like 10 to 15 percent. Um, Alright, let me finish the thought. And if it happens though, twice in a row, it can win a game by itself. Just an RNG component, which mm, has made me furious many a time. And yeah, I don't want to nerf orcs or whatever. But this is one component that is bullshit, in my opinion. Anyways. Anyways, we have a game, ladies and gents. Counter Expo down here. Oh, that was a serious attack. misclick. One of my biggest strengths in Warcraft 3. <laughs> Misclicking. Colorful doesn't have a big army yet. Upgrades are looking fine. 1-1. One, one. What does he have for scrolls? Oh, double heal scroll. That's pretty good. Illusion's not tanking too long. Ooh, the Shadowhunter also tanking a hell of a lot. Splits against the Wisps. Uh, pretty well done, I guess. First heal scroll coming in. Shadow still has mana. There's one heal scroll as well on the Blade Master. It's gonna have to pop it soon. Like right now. What? Uh, there we go. Gave the scroll actually over to the Shadow so Blade Master could keep on laying in the deeps. Going for the Alchemist next. TP transferred. Hex though coming in! And the lag. Oh, wow. But the hero dies. Well timed, Hex. And uh, that one should have been able to see coming. Kind of. Oh, this healing fountain. Ooh, very nice right now. Give me that juice. Can Colorful go over there? Can he fight? He's still super high HP. Keep him go for, go for new scrolls over here. 
But once focus is healed up again, this is looking pretty nice, ain't it? Expo's done. Only thing missing now is a shop here for mana pots and clarities. Oh, what the hell? Four huntresses. Did you forget about the hunts in the main or something? Alright, Colorful still has one more scary push here in him. But if focus holds one more time, should be in a good position. It's a lot of hunts though. Keeper, however, almost out of mana. Where's the alchemist? Oh, he's still oh, dead for a long see. time. I think he forgot to remake him here for a little while. Alright, here we go! Can the peons repair against this? Um, maybe not. Focus didn't forget about the dust. Honestly, even if he gets this great hall, I don't think it's worth it. Two hunts dead already. Another one's gonna get devoured. Yeah, this isn't even worth it. And he's not even gonna get it! LOLS! Oh my god. Treants finally coming in. Double disenchant. One, two, see you later. Oh, it's close though. Oh, dude, this is the hardest commitment in my life I've ever seen. Well, that shows you that Colorful is gonna be a good husband because he's gonna stick with his commitment no matter how fucking awful it is. And that's, in my opinion, a good quality to have for a person who wants to get married. That was pretty bad. Wait, as a cast, you're not supposed to say this. You're supposed to say... Ah, uh, you know, perhaps today is not his day. Perhaps, you know, uh, you know, everyone has off days. And that's true. But yeah, it wasn't really good, let's be honest here. Colorful at WGL already was, uh, yeah, not looking too hot at all. What happened? Was it just getting married? Yeah, I see some people saying Patch Elf. It's not true. He was in really strong shape before 1.30. Before the Keeper days. He was already starting to stand out. But yeah, most recently he's been having a tough time. Focus, of course, the favorite here. Focus, uh, perhaps the strongest orc in the world right now. The most successful orc, certainly, at WGL. Thank you very much. Stars and Stripes 69, uh, subbing for six months, saying, hell yeah! Dude, I imagine your day yesterday was amazing. Yesterday, of course, 4th of July, National Barbecue, Beer, and Hot Dog Day. Hope you guys had a good time. Are you all hungover today? I would imagine so, my dear Kakonas. I hope you had a good day, good time. The Tommy Chatch. Thank you very much for the seven, 27 months. I want to say 72, no. 27 months, wow. That's, uh, that's more than two years right there. Thank you, buddy. Game number two. Let's go. Oh. A little bit of a pause here. What happened? Perhaps the waifu came home. Why are there socks on the ground everywhere? I don't know, man. Why don't you put them away? <laughs> I'm feeling kind of silly today. I don't know why. Maybe I just got a bit of a... Uh, what's it called? A sun... You know when you're in the sun too long? And then you, you have like... The goofy brain thingy? Because I, I was like in the sun... Basically until the cast. What's that called? Sunstroke! Is that what it's called? Doesn't sound familiar. But sounds like it... Could be a thing. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go back here. I'm probably gonna resume soon. Oh, of course. Murphy's Law. Once I go back here, we're resuming the game. There was a funny moment of that uh, in China as well. When we were waiting for the bus, um, every day from the hotel there was a shuttle bus leaving with us and with the players in Shanghai from the hotel to the venue. And one day we were really late with the bus, like we were waiting for half an hour already because we were waiting for 120. That little diva made us all wait. Uh, and we've been waiting and waiting and kind of bored. And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to light a cigarette now and I'm going to bet right away 120 is going to come and then uh, we're going to be able to go. And wouldn't you know it, Neo goes out of the bus, lights a cigarette, and there is 120, formerly best other than the world, now second best other than the world. How do you think that makes him feel? He's always been a very confident player, if not to say cocky. I wonder if this is humbling now for him, seeing like, holy shit, I guess I'm not the best. I guess I'm just the second best. I'm still far better than the next person after me. Which, I don't know, who's Players that at the moment? Forces are under attack. <sighs> I don't even know. Anyways, yeah, Happy's the best. Has proven it to everyone. Was pretty sick. WGL was amazing. To be honest with you guys, I don't think we're gonna have a tournament as good as this one. For years. Honestly. European champion, kick-ass games, the top four was insane. Um, super hype. Like, it's hard to reach that level again. I don't think, I think like, the next WGL map may kind of pale in comparison. I had so much fun, dude. It was so, so, so good. A Thank you very much, Murad Dorm, with the 10 months. More Warcraft action. Puck champ. Hell yeah. Yeah, but, uh, like, who's the third best unit right now? I saw some people saying Lucifer, WFZ. I don't know, we haven't seen him in forever. And who else would be in contention? I would love to say Shaddai. I love my boy Shaddai. I'm not sure that's actually the case. Seems like the borough here is gonna be falling. Oh, is it though? Is it though? Yeah, definitely. Oh, the next couple trees coming in. Gets the cancel there barely last second. Grunt though, able to get some experience at least. And the keeper is gonna be very hurt. Gonna be forced into the TP here. Sheik maybe? Oh, side! Yeah, how could I forget about side? WCG champion right there. The keeper almost got out. Not quite, though. Oh man, this is really annoying for focus. Well, at least this one will come through. Always the burrows. Always the burrows. What do you guys think raising burrow HP by 50? 650 HP. But then they're gonna be fortified and you can never kill them. Forces are under attack. I should probably not invite too much uh, balance and balance change discussion. Normally, that doesn't end too well. Level 2? It's precisely level 2, right? Oh, look at that! 200 exactly. Ooh. That's a feels good, man. You know what actually, in my gaming life, is one of the best feelings ever. I wonder if some of you have that as well. So sometimes I play Tetris, you know, online Tetris every now and then. I feel a bit of an urge, you know, to play a bit of Tetris again. And, of course, you know, um, you set up the Tetrises in such a way that on the right side, with one long block, a player's force you can, uh, like, finish them all off at the same time, right? 
you you build your normal Tetris wall towards the left side, and then in the right corner there's this one little slit where you can uh, put on put the long Tetris in, right? You know what I'm talking about. And when you're building your wall, when you have the perfect piece to align it in such a way that it's perfectly even, you know, that there is no little hills and crevices in your wall, but that the the piece fits perfectly, so it's a perfectly lined wall. Oh, dude, that mm, sweet baby Jesus feels so good. A player's forces are under attack. Anyone else have them? No? No? Okay. <laughs> well, Blademan's gonna commit the big healing here. Is it enough though? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, he's playing with fire! The entangle! Almost! Dude, that was so risky. That could have very well been Sentinel. Are under oh, attack. look at that! Sentinel's coming in right now. Focus, what are you doing? I turned my radio volume to 10, 20, or 30. Yeah, I've, I've read about that before. People um, with OCD, or, you know, a little bit of OCD, not being able to have radio at uneven numbers. The volume at uneven numbers. I have some OCD myself, but yeah, that's not a problem for me. A player's force is so, Shadowhunter two and a half. What are we buying, by the way? Oh, we do have Shaman this time around. So we have three dispels right now: one from the Shaman, two from the Shadow Priest. I like that purchase. So you should be safe against Hex. There's a Speed Scroll still available. Will we see the romantic game after? Yes, we will. Last show we cup romantic was late, I remember. By about 10 minutes or so, you almost got disqualified. Is he late today again? Are under attack. I don't know. Toxie's OCD lies with prime numbers. Oh, I have never heard that before. That's pretty cool. That sounds a little crazy. Shadow level 3. Boom! That's the big level up. Now he's got the level 2 snakes. Pretty low on grunts, though. Wow. This, this early game, actually, was much more expensive for focus than I thought, I guess. Now then again, colorful... He's not even at... 50 supply himself right now. So, how many archers do we have? A, no, a single attack. one. Okay. These serpent boards are going to be pretty good. Shadow, no mana items, though. But the perimeter is being set up. Three serpents already. Oh, tree and summon from the side. That's pretty cool. Actually, waking up the murlocs. Perhaps not what he wanted. The patient play here by Colorful, taking out those Serpent Wards. Oh, the Scroll of Protection and the Illusion is going to soak up so much damage. Great usage right there. Bit of a fortunate item, I guess, of Colorful. And Snare from the Creeps, actually. Oh, the Murlocs want to see a 2-0 here, it seems. Ah, lots of damage over time here coming towards Focus. Who got the Heal Scroll, actually? I was so busy. Talking about my OCD. Here's the heal scroll. Boom, there we go. Only single one runs. Oh, damn, they're all very close to dying. Speaking of close to dying, the alchemist, he's trying to heal spray himself up, but that's perhaps not enough. Blade Master gets the kill, and everything's dying. Archers came in perhaps a little too late. I have a couple of archers left now. 30 supply only, though. Goodness gracious. Even a shop now coming, some grunts are falling, but focus seems to be fine and dandy, going for the first hero now, where's, wait, where's the TP? Ah, right, he used it earlier, when he was in the main harassing, he used the TP, and that's the purge, right click scale, boom, dead! 2-0 for fo 